The Canon EOS R5 just got a major update, the firmware version 2.1.0. And it packs with features that could change the way you shoot. But is all good news? Let's dive in. Hey, Akuna Matata, my friend. In this video, we are talking about the Canon EOS R5, new firmware, the version 2.1.0. Canon claims it boosts battery performance fixes Wi-Fi issues and improve focus accuracy. But are these fixes real? And could this update actually cause new problems? And what about those nagging focus issues in high-speed mode? Has Canon finally solved them? Stick around because I will be putting it to the test. How to update the Canon R5 firmware. Method I'm using is the card reader to update the camera firmware. Step number one. Download the firmware from the Canon download page. The link of the download page is in the description below so you can follow along. Step number two, let's extract the compressed DMJ file to access the firmware. File name EOS R5210.fir. So now let's copy the file to the root directory of the card. Step number three, let's insert the card into the camera and press the menu button. And in the menu, Let's go to the setup tab and page number six. Step number four. Let's select the firmware from the page number six and press the set button. Step number five. Let's select the camera firmware and press the set button. And now let's press OK. A few moments later. Now the Canon EOS R5 is updated to the latest firmware version 2. 1.0. First, let us talk about the game-changing battery enhancements with the new battery pack LPE6P. The P version. Maybe they made that for Peter. I mean, Peter McKinnon said that P stands for, for Peter. LPE6P, I've been told they actually named it after Petapixel. And also Peter Pixel said that P stands for Peter Pixel as well. But you will never know. But one thing for sure, you are promised the same shooting speed as with the LPE6NH. And yes, and you can even charge it in the camera. So let's first, let's test, you know, the charging capability with the previous firmware and also with the new firmware. So here is the battery quick test. In the current firmware 2.0.0, I am attempting to charge the LPE6NH and LPE6P in the Canon R5. But surprisingly, they cannot be charged in the camera of this current firmware. I don't know why. It is there's an issue of my R5 or generally it's just an issue with the current firmware. To make sure that the batteries are not faulty, I use the R5C to try to charge both the LPE 6 and H and the LPE 6P. And yes, they are charging directly in the Canon R5C. So there is no fault in the two batteries. So the problem is with the EOS R5. So now with the R5 updated to the latest firmware, the version 2.1.0, let's try to test the battery again. First, Let's charge the LPE6NH and I connect it and I power it and you see it is charging perfectly, no issue. Now let's use the LPE6P battery. Again, I connect it, I power it directly in the Canon R5 and you can see it's also charging perfect. So this is a clear indication or this is a clear fix and an improvement with the new firmware, the version 2.1.0. Both batteries are working perfectly throughout the rest of my test. So there is no issue at all. And I can use all the setting that is in the camera so far. And finally, one of the biggest complaints Canon is addressing with this firmware is the autofocus issues in high speed continuous shooting when using highlight tone priority. Has the update fixed it? I put the R5 through some high intensity tests to find out. I took the camera out to my local park to shoot high speed continuous shooting plus mode with the highlight tone priority option set to on. So first, what is highlight tone priority or HTP? 
Highlight Tone Parity is a Canon developed camera feature which aims to capture more of the detail in the brightest area of an image, in the meantime avoiding to blow the highlight. By default, Highlight Tone Parity is disabled. When Highlight Tone Parity is enabled, the following changes are made. 1. Lowest available ISO setting is 200. D plus or D plus 2 appear by the ISO value on rear screen or in view finder. 3. On much older camera, the zeros in the ISO value display as lower case, almost like a O. For example, 200 will be 200. And fourth, auto lighting optimizer is disabled. While in the park, I am shooting high speed continuous shooting plus mode with highlight on priorities. The challenge that I have faced is more of my shaking hand, my difficulty of pointing the focal point into the subject. And when I manage to get the focus point into the subject, there is no problem at all. The hit rate is higher. And also my, my camera setup is a heavy one. I have the 70 to 200 attached to it, no tripod, only handheld. And taking all this in consideration, it is a clear improvement for me here too from Canon with that new firmware update. Before we dive into the rest of the video, if you are finding this breakdown helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. It's really helped the channel. And if you want more in-depth reviews and updates on the latest gears, consider subscribing. I have ton of tips and tricks coming your way. And also trip that I make with the Canon, with the Canon and also Hasselblad X2D that I'm gonna be sharing with you too. So subscribe and like this video. Now let us talk about those critical bug fixes you know starting with the notorious wi-fi disconnect issue you know the er70 <laughs> canon says this update finally put that to rest but i had to test it myself in the previous firmware i stopped using the wi-fi altogether because of the disconnect issue and sometimes it's really flimsy you connect one second and next second is just gone or you connect here and then you go somewhere you cannot connect it anymore so one minute is connect, next minute it's gone. So I am pleased to say that this new firmware has significantly improved it. You know, from my test, you can see that I connected and has not have any issue at all of disconnect. So throughout my test, you can see that the connection has been done quickly. And when it's connected, it stay connected. And I managed to use it. I managed to review my photos and so and so. It is not as fast as, you know, the hazard bread focus. After the test, I am pleased to say that this new firmware has significantly improved the Wi-Fi connection, but not at the level of the hazard bread focus too, but much, much better than the previous one. There is also a fix for the strange card access issue when shooting smaller subjects. Canon Collies is a minor fix. The issue here I am testing is when shooting subjects that are smaller in frame, the car access indicator blinks and operation can no longer be performed. So for that, I pick the smallest available item around me and I start taking a photo and so far, I have not seen any issue or any messages or the car access indicator blink and operation can longer be performed. So I continually shooting until I, I was tired and I stopped, you know, shooting no longer. So then no issue at all again with this test again. So again, it's a clear indication that the issue is resolved by that new firmware update. So is the firmware version 2.1.0 worth the update? For me, the battery improvement and the fix was solid, but Canon got some work to do in certain area. For example, you know, we still can only shoot 
video for 29 minutes. Canon can remove that. Still, this update is a step in the right direction and I'm pleased about it. What do you think? Have you updated your R5? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I have got more content coming on these cameras and also the latest gears update you don't want to miss. Thank you.